Hello everybody, my name is Terrico and welcome to another horror gaming video. Today we're taking a closer look at this image. This is the latest tease for Poppy Playtime Chapter 2 and if you thought this was just an innocent illustration, you might be mistaken. There appears to be a number of clues, secrets and hidden details in this image and I'm going to analyse those for you today as well as giving my own opinions on them. And yes, this image might even be teasing the release date for Chapter 2. So let's first look at the most obvious thing in this image, the train. If you've been keeping up to date with the Poppy Playtime Chapter 2 news so far, you'll probably recognise this train. It's the one that we've seen a number of times throughout the different trailers. But one of the most interesting things about this one is this is the first time that we've seen a frontal view. And this also shows us the eyes of the train. Now as far as I'm aware, we haven't seen these eyes yet. As as far as I can remember, we've only seen the side of the train so far. Now what's really interesting about this is that the eyes really remind me of the Make a Friend Machine's eyes. Now if you remember back to one of my original theories on the game, we talked about the Make a Friend Machine's eyes. They actually follow the player around the room. This has led to me and other people speculating that potentially the Make a Friend Machine is just as alive as Poppy. But that also could be hinting that the train is alive as well. And if you look at this image, you can see that there is no conductor, there is no driver, there is nobody operating this train. It seems to be fully automated. Now, as we've discussed previously, Playtime Co. seems to be far ahead of its time in terms of technology. Even the Make a Friend machine seems to be too advanced for the 1960s. And it's entirely possible that many things in this factory were using whatever technology brought Poppy, Mommy Longlegs and Hoggy Wuggy to life. We still don't know the exact process that brought these characters to life, but there is absolutely no reason that that same technology couldn't have been used on the Make a Friend machine and now the train as well. This would make Chapter 2 even more creepy, as it looks like we're going to be boarding the train at some point, perhaps even trying to use it to escape. Either way, the idea that this train could have some sort of sentience is pretty creepy if you ask me. But before we delve into all the other secrets in this image, a quick word from our sponsors. Just kidding, I don't have any sponsors. That's because I haven't accepted any sponsorship deals because I want to make these videos the best that they can be for you. But if you want to support the channel, there are many ways you can do it. You can subscribe to the channel, keep watching my videos just like you're doing now, check out my Patreon or even follow me on Twitter. All of these things directly help me continue to make videos for you and they really keep me going as we are a sponsorship free channel so far. With all that being said, let's get back to the video. Now continuing on with the details in the train, if you look in the smoke, you can actually see something pretty creepy. There is a very clear silhouette of Poppy's face here. Now I know there's been quite a lot of debate in the Poppy Playtime Discord about whether this actually is a face or not, but if you manipulate the image, you can clearly see that there is a face in here and it very much looks like Poppy's to me. This is actually very interesting if you consider that this isn't the first time mob games have done this. In one of the original trailers, we saw a very faint version of Poppy in the background towards the end of the trailer. And we saw this again in the Mommy Longlegs trailer that released not so long ago. So this is two instances of Poppy's face appearing very faint in the background. So this is probably a third. But that actually might be very significant. If you combine this with the fact that Poppy was consistently telling the player to wake up in that last trailer, and also in chapter one, it was a good chance it was Poppy who was talking to us in the death screens. It seems like Poppy is trying to communicate to us. It seems like we are asleep or not fully conscious in some way. Now I actually have a number of theories about this, but I'm going to save this for a whole other video as that's probably going to be a bit too long for this one. Just know for now, there might be far more going on than first meets the eye. Continuing on with this theme, if you look in the top left corner of this image, there does also seem to be another face. Now this one could just be my imagination playing tricks on me, but there definitely seems to be a face in this corner and it definitely seems to be smiling. If you take these two things in conjunction, it seems like someone is hinting that somebody's trying to get through to us. Now another interesting detail about this picture is that you can obviously see it's torn. Now the file name for this image is piece one which heavily implies that we're going to get the other piece or pieces at a later date. Perhaps putting them together will give us a bigger clue about what's going on here. It does seem to me like we're probably going to get this in multiple pieces as the tear isn't clean in half. It does sort of branch off down here. So I wouldn't be surprised if there are multiple pieces of this image. Why somebody ripped it up though, I don't know, but it's a very interesting detail. Speaking of interesting details, have you looked at the people in this image? As far as I can tell, they all seem to be children. Now this actually has a number of implications for chapter two. And if we take this information with what we've seen in the trailer already, I think this actually makes sense. It's entirely possible that this area of the factory is a sort of daycare center, somewhere where you could leave your children. 
And after all, we know that the factory used to hold tours for people. Who's to say they didn't have an area where you could leave your kids for the day? In fact, if we take this information with what we've seen in the trailer, it seems like this area is set up to be one giant playground. Something that might have started off quite innocently, but as we know, probably didn't end that way. Together with what we've seen from Mummy Longlegs, this could even be a hint that Mummy Longlegs was part of this daycare system. Maybe that's why she's called Mummy. If you take a bit of a closer look at these children though, there's a couple of them that stand out. We have one that is running away from the train. This might just be a child running to meet someone else or running towards something else that they've seen, but it also could be a subtle hint. Maybe this child got off the train. Maybe they saw something in the tracks that they weren't supposed to. We also have this one child that seems to be looking directly at you. Now, considering this is an illustration, it was painted or drawn by somebody, why would they draw this character looking directly at you? This character seems very concerned and I think this might be yet another hint that something in this area wasn't quite right. And judging from what we've seen of the factory so far, there's nothing to say that these creepy experiments weren't going on for much longer than we already thought. They could have been going on right now when this image was drawn. In fact, this adds an even creepier part to this whole theory. This whole area dedicated to looking after children, well, who's to say that the odd child or two didn't go missing? After all, it seems like this company needed subjects for his experiments. We've already theorized that the orphan program could have been part of this, but who's to say that this area of the factory wasn't also a part of this? Now, as I said, this image might be hinting the release date of chapter two. Now, this actually comes from the Discord. This isn't my own idea, but I actually quite liked it. If you look at the signature down below, which honestly, I've tried to read several times and I have no idea what this name is supposed to be. Something Miller, I think. If you look at the overall shape of this signature, it does seem to look like 10th of May which is not far off. Is this a sneaky hint by Mob Games that this is the release date? I like to think so because a couple of weeks ago, the devs said the game was going to come out in a few weeks and well, time's a ticking Mob Games. We also have this background, which is a wood grain, probably a table. But one thing that I found really interesting about this is we can kind of see the claw in here. Now this might be a complete coincidence. It might just be part of the wood grain pattern but it definitely looks a little bit like the claw scratches we've seen before to me. Not sure whether that's intentional or just a complete coincidence, but either way, I thought I would mention it here. So those are my main thoughts about this image. I'm sure there's probably more details if you look even more closely, but it is very interesting that Mob Games have released this image, which has a lot of information right before chapter two. And I am very interested to see if we do see the other pieces of this image. Did you enjoy that video? Well, here's a couple more on the left hand side of the screen that you might be interested in. Give them a click if you are. I also have a bunch more horror gaming videos on my channel, so feel free to go and check those out as well. And if you want to make sure that you don't miss my future uploads, make sure that you subscribe now. Oh, and also do the notification bell because YouTube makes us do that now as well. Every time you watch one of my videos, you directly support me and allow me to continue creating these videos for you. Seems like a pretty good trade deal to me. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.